everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have chosen today's video theme, how to get past the gatekeeper, my top seven tips, because business development is something I am very, very passionate about and I love training people on it. And it's becoming more of an important area to focus on now the markets are gonna start changing. One of the things that I think people get the most nervous about and worried about is if they are making calls, they are at some point gonna to need to speak to a gatekeeper who is basically a secretary, a personal assistant, a receptionist. That is a skill in itself, it's a whole different conversation. So I thought we would focus on it in today's video and that will give you some help, some tips and some confidence to go away and deal with it yourself. If you want more business development tips, watch this video and that will help you look into the whole area of business development in a lot more detail. Okay, so tip number one, go in with a positive mindset. The worst thing you can do is before picking up that phone, tell yourself, this isn't gonna go well, this person isn't gonna put me through, oh my God, they're gonna be rude to me, this isn't gonna work. You're preempting it, you're gonna manifest it into existence. So if you need to do some breathing exercises, have a chat with somebody next to you to put you at ease, write down the pros if you're picking up the phone, write down all the things that could go right, which there are many things, you're gonna go in a lot more positive. Because let me tell you now, if you are sounding negative and sounding defeated, it will come across in that call. Tip number two, try a varied approach. And what you've got to remember is that if you ring at the same time on the same day, all the time, they are gonna know your calling and know why it is. Their job, remember, is to stop you from getting put through, basically. So try and be varied with your approach. Try different times of day. You may even get put through to somebody different. Try ringing different days of the week. Try different pitches to that person, different introductions. Also what you can try and do is try and get through to different departments. If there are numbers that you can go through to, instead of going straight to reception, Try going through to the actual department you want to speak to. There may be another gatekeeper, but it's just another option for you when you're trying to get put through to your prospect. Tip number three, whatever you do, do not lie to them. I made this mistake many times right at the start of my recruitment career where you think you can pull the wool over their eyes and get put through to who you need to get put through to. It doesn't work. And even if it does work, once you get put through and you're not the person you say you are or you're not calling about what you said you did, that person's gonna be pretty pissed off that you've lied in the first place. So it never works out well. Remember that this person could be more influential than you think in the recruitment process or with you getting put through. So if they know you're lying, other people will hear about it. So be honest and be truthful and direct about why you are calling. Biggest tip, which I think we're on tip number four now, I'm doing it again, I'm losing track of where we are, is build a relationship with them. Biggest mistake I made when I used to do a lot of business development calls right at the beginning of my career, I didn't value them as a customer. I saw them as a bit of a nobody. They don't have any sort of impact on what happens. They just are a switchboard. I was so, so wrong, absolutely not. For all I know, they could have been sitting next to the person I wanted to speak to. They could have a massive relationship with that person. They could be involved in the recruitment process. How stupid was I to devalue their role? So take their name, learn their name. When you call back, say hi to them, chat to them, build a relationship, build that rapport, treat them as if they are a client because they can have a bigger influence than you think on you speaking to the decision maker. Tip number five, I think, always try and come away with one or two pieces of information that are gonna make it easier and easier for you to get to the person you need to speak to. If they won't put you through, try and come away with a better time to call, a mobile number for the hiring manager, an email address, anything that you can come away with that's gonna add to your options. It could be that you come away with a better relationship with this gatekeeper. Tip number six, don't take it to heart. You don't know what's going on in that gatekeeper's life. They could have just come off a very difficult call. They could be having a bad day. Something really stressful could have happened in the office. Or they might just not wanna put you through, guys. But if you keep taking it to heart and give up, 
you're giving them what they want. You're helping them do their job better. Their job is to not put you through. Business development is hard and winning clients isn't easy. You're not gonna get it on the first call. It could take you a year to win some clients over. So don't take to heart the rejection and them not putting you through. Could be for a number of reasons and you're never going to know what they are unless you can actually be psychic and read that person's mind. I have one more tip, tip number seven, but you need to watch this video to find out more about what that last tip is and it's a good one, trust me. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. As always, please let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will see you soon. Bye.